One of the most fascinating things that I found during my early years of research was just how like us chimpanzees are. We didn't even realize back then, in the early 60s, that biologically, they're our closest relatives. We share 98.6% of the composition of DNA with them. There's amazing similarities in the structure of the blood, the immune system, the anatomy of the brain. And then, of course, there's all the behavioral similarities, the non-vocal or non-verbal communication, kissing, embracing, patting one another. holding hands. Begging for food. And they do these things in the same context that we do, and they clearly mean the same kind of thing. They show emotions. They can be happy, they can be content. They can be angry, they can be frustrated. And emotions very similar, maybe the same as our own. So in all these ways, we see so many similarities between them and us. But for me, what's fascinating is because they are more like us than any other creature today. That means we can step back and say, Yes, but we humans are different. What's the main difference? Of course, there are lots of small differences. But for me, the main difference is the explosive development of our brain. And I believe that that was at least partly triggered by the fact that at some point in our evolution, we discovered or we invented speech. <laughs> Once we discovered the power of words, it meant that we can teach children about things that are not present. We can talk about the past and maybe learn lessons from it, although we're not very good at that, it seems. We can make plans for the distant future. Chimps can plan for the immediate future, but not 10 years ahead. And perhaps most important of all, we can bring people from different areas of expertise together to try to solve problems. So what is bizarre is that clearly we're the most intellectual creature that's ever walked the planet. So how is it possible that we're destroying our only home? It used to be thought maybe people can live on Mars. We now know, thanks to modern technology, with a rocket that's gone up to Mars and a little robot that crawled off and has been taking photographs, we can't live on Mars. We've got this one beautiful green and blue planet. <laughs> 